Um, today we're going to make a giant freaking whiteboard. Now, the reason I'm doing this is I wanted a big whiteboard for my office and uh, I was looking at the cost of whiteboards and, well, it's like $500 for in Australia. So I um, thought I'd make one. Now this piece of wood, it's 2.4 meters long, 1.2 meters tall, um, high density MDF, six millimeters thick. So just over half a centimeter. Uh, this piece of wood in particular cost me I think it was $20 at a local hardware store. Uh, and today, we are going to, first of all, uh, position the mounting uh, of, of this. So I'm going to measure across, measure down, measure left and right, and work out how many screws we're going to need to put in this. I'm probably going to go four across the top, four across the bottom. So the first thing I've done is I've just measured across here to make sure that it actually is 2.4 meters uh, so that we can get our screws centered. Um, and the first thing I've noticed is that this board, even though it's advertised as 2.4, is actually 2.42. So that's 2,420 millimeters. So using that number, I'm gonna work out half, put a point in the middle of half, then work out how far across half is and divide that up evenly. So now that we've finished putting these um, screw hole marks along the piece of wood, there should be another one there. You should be able to see another one over there if I focus correctly into the piece of wood. We're going to start with our drilling process and that's just going to be to use a small drill bit to start a pilot hole in the piece of wood. Okay, so these are the screws that I'm gonna be using to mount this to the wall. They are 8G 40 millimeter screws with a, uh, a bugle head. And I'm gonna just be using the standard uh, green wall plugs to mount these to the wall, 40 millimeters in length. I believe these are six millimeter uh, plugs, I think. Maybe that's not right, that could, be, that could be wrong. 35 millimeters in length, long enough for these screws. And a drill bit set, so I'm just gonna find First of all, a drill bit that's smaller than the screws, um, because really all we want this to really all we want to go through the wood is the screw, and we're creating a pilot hole so that we don't scratch the um, so not scratch, sorry, that we don't so that we don't crack the wood. So I'm going to. Okay, so now that those holes have been created, we can take this board inside and use those holes to make a template on our wall. Okay, I'm back. You probably can't see me now because the wall is too, too high. I've got my square here. I know that this top surface up here is straight because I've, I've checked this before. So I know that in this room, this is straight. What I'm gonna do, there is a hole right here. I'm gonna position this as central to that hole as I can get it. Then I'm going to go up to the roof and create a horizontal line for the first section. I'm going to do that for these one, two, three, four, five, um, five screws. So what I'm doing is I'm just positioning this central to those holes because I want this board to be positioned here on the wall. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go here and create a horizontal line like that. Now this doesn't matter if I make a mess of it because the um, when this lifts up, it'll cover that line because there's you know an extra inch of space on the top wall. Okay, I'm back and I have created the lines that line up with the roof, which you can see there. Now, as I move along here, you'll see that those lines also follow along with the roof in the center of each of these screw lines. So now what I'm going to do is, pardon the action cam here, I've got the camera in my hands. Um, I'm going to take my square and from the center of each hole, sorry, I'm just trying to focus now, Oh great camera, come on focus. From the center of each hole, I'm going to project a line straight up the intersects, that to form a cross at that point, and that's where I'll drill the holes. Okay, so what we can see now is that I have a, a cross almost exactly if I stand in the right the right positioning straight up from that and then sorry the camera makes it look off center but um, straight up from there straight up from there straight up from there and straight up from there those will be the points that I drill the holes for the screws to go into the wall you don't want to have a piece of this wall flick off and hit you in the eye it's gonna be bad news so when using a drill use eye protection if you can get a dust mask as well 
I'm not too fussed about that right now because I'm only drilling a couple of holes and I hold my breath until the dust settles. So, um, raw plugs or wall plugs as they're sometimes called. I'm using these. These are 35 millimeter green plugs, common ones in Australia. I'm just going to drill some holes in the wall, bang these in with a hammer. So let's get started. Now okay, now as you can probably see, all the holes have been drilled along the wall to an appropriate depth. It doesn't really matter how they look right now. It's all gonna get covered up later. Okay, so with all the holes done, let's take one of these green wall plugs and go ahead and place it into the hole. It should fit very snugly. If it may not even actually fit. If it doesn't fit, it's alright, you pull it out with a with a hammer and just slightly enlarge the hole. But if all goes well, it should fit almost perfectly. Okay, I've brought the wood back in. Now, the only thing I've done is I forgot to do this in the shop, but I've put a I put what's called a countersink in here. Now if you have a look at the uh, the screw hole, it's sunk into the uh, wood a little bit. This is completely optional, but this is done using a drill bit like this called a countersink, right? So basically what you're doing is just making the hole wider so that when you put the screw in, um, you see the shape of that screw, you're basically compensating. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't get that to focus. Um, there we go. You're basically compensating for that angle that the screw has. Um, by sinking that into the wood a little bit. So this will this will sit flush with the wood. You won't see the screw when I'm done. You'll see the screw face. And we have caps for these as well. So that's what I'm doing now. Now the next thing, I'm not going to be able to show this on video because it'll be quite dangerous, but I'm going to lift this up and screw it into the hole. Then I'm going to do the same thing on this end over here and I'll see you guys once that's done. I'm going to probably put the middle one in here as well just to hold this up onto the wall. And then we're going to come down and we're going to put um, marks in the wall where the bottom uh, screws need to go. Uh, so I'll catch you guys when I'm back. See you in a second. Bye. Okay, so now that uh, I've put you over here, what I'm going to do is take uh, the smallest drill bit I've got and just go flat into the wall. So I can do the bottom one. So I'm just going to hold this up against the wall, put the drill bit into the hole, and leave a mark on the wall. That way I can come back with my, proper, my appropriate size drill bit and make the right hole. Okay, so I've got the uh, wood hung on the wall again, and I'm back. Now, last time I forgot to uh, countersink the top holes, um, so I did those and then hung it on the wall. Now I've got the green plugs behind these ones at the bottom, and I'm going to countersink the bottom holes for the screws. So I want to show you how you do that. First of all, you just put the countersink into your drill bit, like normal, like that. And then all you got to do is line it up on the hole, press and drill, you end up with a nice countersunk hole. So I'm going to do that for the rest of them, then I'm going to screw it into the wall, uh, we'll give it a clean, I'll do that off camera, and um, then I'll prepare my room, or this room here specifically, for the painting process, where we can uh, finish coating it with the uh, whiteboard material. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the second part of this video, hopefully. Okay, so everything's done. Apologies for the video quality, it's gone dark now. Um, so this is now mounted to the wall. I got rid of the table, it was here, it's now behind the camera. And I'm gonna be painting on this. This is the Rust-Oleum dry erase uh, kit that I got from the hardware store. Um, so I'm gonna be using these little foam rollers. I'm gonna lay down some drop sheets and then we'll, uh, we'll get started painting it. Now I've also uh, dusted it off just to get rid of any dust that may have been on the surface and um, hopefully this should do the trick. Okay, so before I start doing any painting, I'm going to go around the outside of the walls just with some masking tape to um, hopefully protect the walls from any splatter that happens. Okay, so as you can see, the surface seems to have turned out okay. There are some areas where I can still see the wood coming through, um, coming through the whiteboard material. So 
I'm going to need to sand this down a little bit and apply a second coat of the same material to this. Uh, however, you need to wait three days for this material to fully cure before you can start to use it or sand it. So I'm going to give it a few days to cure, then I'll make another video uh, of my process of sanding it down a little bit, probably use some 400, maybe some 800 um, sandpaper, and then give it another coat of um, the whiteboard material. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Apologies for the focusing and some of the camera quality issues. I was trying to get the job done and um, you know not spend too much time fussing around with the camera. However, I hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do game development tutorials and uh, let's plays of various games and um, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.